afternoon folks we're out here on another project and i want to take and show y'all tool showed you guys just a glimpse of it the other day when we first got it but i wanted to do a dedicated video on it it was sent to us by saker and it is a mini electric chainsaw miss polly's been wanting one of these forever they sent it to us and wanted us to do a review on it so we're going to take on this project here we've got some limbs and stuff that are kind of in the way and uh we're gonna have miss polly use it and see what she thinks of it i think they're a great tool uh for cutting up just about anything around homestead so let me take and show you what comes in the box and then we'll take and we'll try this tool out so in the box you get a a saw uh it comes with a chain on it um it's got a guard for your hand does have a safety on the the trigger it has a guard on top which goes down as you cut it says in the instructions not to cut anything more than four inches it comes with a 20 volt it's only a one and a half amp hour battery um it just comes with a charging cord the charge conversion is in the battery it comes with a little bottle of oil uh, you want to take and you want to oil the chain before use. And it comes with the instructions. Uh, I read through them. They make a lot of sense. Nothing overly dramatic. It has a bar tool, which fits right here. Um, so you can tighten and loosen the bar. It also comes with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I think under here there's a little, uh, according to the instructions, there's a tensioner, which works off of this. Right now it's pretty tight. As with any electric tool, the key, particularly with batteries, is to keep it sharp. If you keep it sharp, keep it old, uh, then you're not gonna wear your battery out, you're not gonna wear the tool out. So I would take and make sure that you either have another chain, which most uh, chainsaw shops can make you a chain for these, but you can also order them at saker and all the the uh details and where you can buy one of these will be in the description below so i'm going to oil this up and we're going to have miss polly check it out it just comes with a little bottle here of oil and you just want to run a little bit of oil particularly on the nose i would say you're not going to want to put too much pressure on this little bar it's a cute little thing eh? so that's all there is to that so this bottle should last quite a while i mean it's not like a big chainsaw where you're going to be just cutting a ton of stuff uh, it's for trimming the battery snaps in it has uh, the safety you have to depress and there we go so Got plenty of oil on the chain. I'm gonna hand it over to Miss Polly and we're gonna go cut some branches and see what we can do with this. Okay, so here we have some branches that are just kind of sticking out in our way where we're gonna be traveling through with the wire. So we're just gonna take and cut these. Uh, they're not very big, but let's see okay. what this thing does. You have to depress that push, and pull the trigger. Push that and, yeah. okay. And you probably wanna get it going before you stick it to it, so. Pretty nice. So cute. So trimming trees around a house. Go ahead and cut this one off up a little higher. Okay. Where it's, yeah, where it's just a little, a little bit, bit bigger. Yeah, and it, it may pinch. So go ahead. It's about an inch and a half tree limb. Wow. This is green juniper. It's pretty hard. Uh, the dry juniper is is even worse. So let's cut a little bit bigger one. Um, let's come around here, trim trim that limb, and let's cut a, about a two-inch limb here and see what it does. Cut that limb off cut in there. It's small. You can reach in, which I really like. Yeah, cut this one off, and then we'll cut that big one. Okay, so one. like any electric saw, you don't want to pinch it, uh, so you want to be careful to pinch. So how many inches do you think this is? Uh, it's probably two, two and a half. Just give it its time. I'm not even pushing down. It's pretty sharp. Pretty so cool. 
So the as you cut, this guard comes up and you can pass on through. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and let's trim this one out of the way. So as we're working here today, putting in this fence, we're going to see just exactly how how good this tool is. But uh, right now it's looking pretty cool. What's your thoughts on it, babe? I like it. Is it light enough for you? It's light, and most small tools, I can hang on to this one. They're usually big and bulky. Yeah. So this is, I've got little hands, so this one works perfect. Not too, not too uh, heavy? Not too heavy. Oh, yeah. Is it something you might carry, like, on your side mm -hmm. when you're out working? Oh, yeah. Trimming little bushes and stuff. Trimming stuff out of the path, first mm -hmm. one thing. Another. All right. Oh, yeah. I cool. Love, I love it. All right, guys, it got her approval. We're yeah. going to see how well it works. As we go down through here, she's going to cut cut a few things and uh, cut them out of the way. And we'll see how long the battery lasts and yep. see how many how many cuts did we make here? Uh, one, four, two, three, five. Four, five, six, maybe. Five cuts so far. So some of these things that you buy, you never know. But this one's turning out. looks like it's pretty good. So we're going to take and put it to work up through here. And uh, as I run some bob wire up this fence line and... Miss Polly will just carry it with her while she puts out flags. Let's let's go to work. Didn't even bog down on that no. on that dead wood. I wanted to try it on some uh, green. This is uh, desert holly. Uh, it looks just like holly bush. I was going to try it on some green. This stuff's really hard, and uh, we'll see how it does. That's pretty good, and it doesn't seem to be losing any power. The chain is getting a little bit loose, but it seems to be doing really good. One of the things you want to be really careful of, and it's real easy to do, is to twist. You want to make sure wherever the cut you start at, you, you go straight through, uh, so have some good blade control and uh, just keep it sharp that's a big thing if it starts getting dull get it sharp sharpen it yourself or um, go to a saw shop go to saker uh, and get you another chain uh, like i said most chain shops chainsaw shops can make you a chain this size most of them will have probably this ch size chain in stock if not i'm sure saker uh, can help you out might be a good idea to buy two or three uh, just to have them around that way you can switch them out. I don't expect anybody's going to be doing a lot of big heavy stuff, but trimming trees around your house, fruit trees, that sort of thing. Um, just take and use some vegetable oil on it if you're doing fruit trees. Uh, that'll help heal up the tree, but uh, I really like it. Miss Polly really likes it, and I think it's a, another handy tool for our toolbox. Uh, I would even be able to cut two befores with this. Um, fence stays, that's something that we were always on the lookout for uh, when we're cutting trees is fence stays. Um, you can trim up a stick real quick. So really liking it. We're going to continue to use it. And uh, we'll see how long this battery lasts. We've made uh, several cuts now. So far, so good. All the... Uh, of uh, ways you can go um, buy one of these is in the description below. Uh, just go over to Saker. Um, if you need something like this in your backyard, um, for the price, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna take and find uh, any of the competition that's that's uh, in that price range. Um, I know there's a lot of these out there. Companies start putting stuff out. Um, but Saker sent us this and it it's a handy little old tool. We're gonna keep it around. I'm gonna order some more chains, um, probably order another battery and just have it in the truck when we're working. And when we need to just cut a limb instead of pulling out a big old gas chainsaw and starting it and cutting, we can just pull this out real quick, lop off a limb, drive on through, walk on through, whatever. This would be handy uh, in a saddlebag 
um, if you're out trail riding, if you're maintaining trails around a place, this would be awesome. You can just, it's light, doesn't weigh very much. You could stick it in a saddlebag, and when you need it, pull it out, lop off some limbs. Uh, hunters, if you are um, setting up your deer stand, it doesn't, doesn't make much noise. Um, you get in your deer stand, if you need to cut some limbs out of the way, be a handy way to do it. Um, just for the backyard stuff that we're used to lopping stuff off, uh, if you have a, an elderly uh, person in your family, this is this is the way to go for them. It's safe. Um, it'd be real hard for them to hurt yourself on it, and they can lop off them limbs, prune those trees, without uh, putting forth a lot of effort. So, sorry about the water on the lens, but it is a rainy day. So, I appreciate you guys uh, checking this out. Go over and check these out. Um, and you know, uh, these companies they send us this stuff, and sometimes it takes us a while to get a video out because. We want to uh, put these things to the test. We want to do it in a real life situation if we can and not just make up something. So um, it's took us a few days to get this out, but um, so far really liking it. It's still charged. Uh, and like I say, we've used it quite a bit, about two hours, uh, not full running, just intermittently. And it's done great. So I'm going to take and leave you there with that. Remember, be excellent in what is good and be innocent of evil. We'll see you later.